Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my wide body E46 build. In this video I've got wheels to prep, tyres to go and get fitted, um, and then yeah we're going to be cutting up the car and fitting the kit so uh, let's time lapse all this, it's going to take a long time so let's buzz through this really quick.
so my camera ran out of battery while I was working on these but yeah here we have it the rears are on unfortunately my wheels still don't quite reach their ET minus 35 with 20 mil spacers and they're still not reaching so I'm going to order some 30 mil spacers to chuck on there unless I can find some 50 mil spacers um, I need to sort of fill a cap out because I can't get it open at the moment so I've just got to trim a little bit off the cap and along the bottom modify it a bit and then put my cap add on on there and sort that I've got a full tank of fuel so I'm all good come on focus yeah. Yeah, so that's that side, and yeah, I, put, I had to put the rear bumper on. So that's my, that's the rear bumper off my old saloon. That's um, this is fiberglass. It's not one of my ones. Um, and I can't find any pictures of this online anywhere. So it's quite nice. So far, I think it's a pretty one-off bumper for my area. Anyway, I haven't seen any others with that sort of diffuser. Let me move this bucket out of the way with that type of diffuser so all needs a good rub down and paint as you can tell yeah just tidy up and tighten up some of the gaps but yeah, that's where we're at so we are now going to get the front done oh yeah also coil overs are on so I'm now going to do all the front I'm now going to do the front get it lowered get the M3 bumper on and uh, hopefully get it done today and go out for a little drive tonight.
so that is the front all fitted up just need to fit the coil over this side and the bumper spat first I'm gonna get the other side done so I'll get both sides done bumper and spats done then do the coil overs and try and drop it down um, yes I know I am using wood screws at the moment but they're only temporary this kit is going to get bonded and blended on so please don't panic <laughs> on to the next side They're both on. Now, yeah, the car is a bit wonky at the moment. She's up in the air at the back, but the front is done. Got my, uh, got my pepper pots on there. Et minus 35. No spaces on the front, and that fits very nicely. Obviously, got a big gap here because she's up in the air. That's all on nicely. I just need to hard bolt these bits together. The rest of it's all bolted together. Again, remember it is going to get bonded on, so please just ignore the screws. Um, earlier in the video, you could see that my rear wheels didn't quite fill up the gap. Well, I'm now sorting that out as we speak. So we have now chucked some, chucked some more spaces on there. So we've got 60 mil of spaces on there, the ET minus 35 wheels. I've just had to shave a bit out of here. These these were already cut way back, so I've had, but I just had to shave this bit back here so it don't catch. Um, yeah, still haven't sorted my filler cap, but <laughs> I can now fill her up. So yeah, what we have got. Got some uh, Stance Plus, Stance Plus 40 mil bolt-ons, with then some 20 mil slip-ons, with my ET minus 35, and that's good. I've just got to shave this little bit back and uh, get it fitted. See so yeah, it, coil overs. Still need to get the bump stop and the sleeve, but it is all coming together. This I still can't decide whereabouts I want it, so that can just sit freestanding. So, yeah, let's get this wheel back on, drop her on the ground, see what she looks like. Yeah, boys. Right, so there's a big shout out to Ryan Dalton on Facebook for recommending the uh, 40 mil Stance Plus spacers. And big shout out to Stance Plus for getting them out so quickly. And these look really well made. Um, yeah, I'm, I seem really happy with these. Um, we're going to put them to the test. We'll see if the wheel falls off. We'll let you know. Let's get it on. Right, so the spaces are on, the wheels are on, the kit is all on, it's all hard bolted together. Um, I'm going to take it for a rip up the road, see how she feels, see how she looks, and um, yeah, we'll wrap it up after the uh, test drive. So um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Episode 3 is going to be lots of like general maintenance stuff brakes oil blah 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 you know that sort of stuff because I only have a few more days left before I've got to leave for Scotland so yeah let's get this test drive out of the way end the video and uh, yeah I've got a lot more stuff to crack on with so uh, cheers guys I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>